Good morning from the Wyoming Welcome Tourism Center rest stop. My god, it is freezing out here. Me and the pup were uh, cuddling last night, so all you dog fanatics will definitely be happy to hear that. I think it would get a little bit cold in the in his crate, so <laughs> I figured I'd have him under the covers with me. So we kept each other warm. It was uh, a very chilly, about 15 degrees last night. Uh, I poured out uh, some water and it froze. It's just starting to warm up a little bit. So good news, bad news time. Good news is I made it all the way to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Very beautiful place, very cold place. And uh, bad news is I, I can't get the truck started. Um, I added some anti-gel winterizer to the diesel fuel. And for those who aren't familiar with diesel engines, in very cold temperatures, the fuel, the diesel fuel can turn into like jelly, like jello. So um, could be that. Could need to change a fuel filter, which uh, uh, I have one in the back. And uh, it could be related to the uh, oil leak, which uh, badge is gonna, is heading, we're, he's headed north and I'm headed west and we're gonna meet up and we're gonna fix it up for, uh, for my buddy who's uh, gonna be buying the uh, adventure bus. So, just waiting on a tow over to O'Reilly's because I'm done paying $100 an hour to mechanics, you know? Plus it's fun to work on your own vehicle. All right, here's the uh, Good Sam Platinum Roadside Assistance. This is the, uh, the best roadside assistance I think you can get. Here's the update on it. Two and a half hours after placing my call. Still nothing. <laughs> it did take me about a half an hour to jump through their ridiculous hoops that they had for me. Uh, one was a very intrusive detailed information about my vehicle, if it had running water, things like that because uh, it is a conversion. Even asking me what I did for it, they requested interior and exterior uh, pictures. Why? I don't know. Even the number I text, I followed up and I said I would love to know why you're asking for these questions and what that has to do with the service which I purchased. Still nothing. Um, I haven't mentioned I've said good things about Good Sam, even though I've never used Good Sam. And uh, I mentioned that it would go in today's video. So uh, I don't know if that created a different uh, experience. I would guess a different experience in the positive if anyone else has a school bus conversion. Um, but uh, it almost felt like they didn't want to uh, give me service, which I paid for. Um, so still waiting on them. Two hours. I'm doing some uh, transfers of footage right now, hard drive to hard drive in the back. Um, and then I'll be trying to work on a video. The reason I haven't changed the fuel filter yet is because I'd rather do it and put in this uh, cold weather, um, uh, it's called diesel 911, together. If I'm going to rip it all apart and to, to change the filter, I might as well do it at the same time. So I figure we'll play it safe, we'll get a tow over there. We'll change the fuel filter, and then we'll see if that does the trick. It could be the fuel filter, because they're very sensitive, especially in colder weather, because the diesel gels up a little bit. That's what I call a bad doggy right there. Somebody chewed through their whole thing. Um, good news, guys. Tow truck's here. And uh, the guys at Good Sam on the phone were not the, the brightest bulbs, so they sent me a massive massive semi truck tow truck but I guess you know bigger is better right look at how big that thing is it's a, like I don't know a little overkill but uh, you know whatever we're get we're, we're gonna get this thing back we're gonna get into uh, my buddy's hands we're gonna meet up with badge we're gonna get it fixed and uh, nice guy Corey over here in the uh, tow truck we're gonna get a tow over to uh, his tow yard and then uh, work on it over there, plug it into the block heater, warm the engine up, and get it going again. So, this dude right here. <laughs> 
Corey, right? Yeah. Yeah, Corey's a good guy. He's helped me out. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's a little windy today. That's a big ass truck. I wonder if that's why they call it Big Owls. So we got Corey over here pulling the drive line, just so uh, just be on the safe side here. So we're ready to go. We got the little new tail lights on. We got Corey giving me a ride over to the bus yard. We got Dan. The adventure bus is looking good. He's having his first tow. He's having a good day. I'm out here. I'm still freezing my freaking ass off, but uh, I'm ready to get this thing back on the road. 2018. 2018. So this is brand new. It. No well, way. I got it two months ago, and I already got 11,000 miles on it. Wow! Look at how nice this is. He sleeps in the back. Just drives tow trucks around in this, uh, or uh, big semi trucks around in this giant semi truck. You can even see your bus if you want to do in the back. Look at that, he's got a rear view uh, <laughs> thing. He's got all of his weird shifter thing with a little to, to go back and forth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe we should get a semi next. All right, so Corey's got me over here nice and safely. We got uh, Dan the Adventure Bus uh, parked out here. He's gonna, he's uh, in his sick bed. He's gonna get better. Massive tow truck. That sure was fun, and boy, was this thing nice. So we're gonna plug this thing in. We're gonna try and get it back on the road. Whoa, they have another one. <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, for anybody who's not familiar, a block heater is uh, it's a heater that warms up the engine uh, on the diesel because cold weather and diesel is not a good combo. It's like putting uh, lemon juice in your milk. All right, so me and Corey have been hanging out. We've been playing fetch with the dog. Super red guy, by the way. If you guys break down in uh, Cheyenne, make sure to call this guy. Ask for, ask for him specifically. <laughs> so um, the pup's all energized. So we got it waiting. We got it uh, charging and uh, got the block heater on for about a half an hour. Let's see if this does anything or not. Okay, we're waiting to start. Once that thing goes off, and we'll crank it over. Uh, same thing. Hmm. Same thing. Got plenty of juice. I don't know. I'm gonna change the fuel filter, I guess. Of course, something goes on when the camera's off. But we just had, uh, we just got back from getting a uh, diesel 911. It's for um, fuel gelling and diesel stuff. Anyways, Corey took me to the auto parts store. We had this thing plugged in for maybe an hour, and finally it started up. And what, what do you think the culprit was? Cold weather. Welcome to Wyoming. <laughs> we, we got it. We got Dan the Adventure Bus fixed. We didn't even do anything to like fix it. We just plugged it in. Electricity did the time. And of course, uh, Corey was a huge help. Thank you hey so guys. much. We're gonna keep in touch. And uh, you know, who knows? Maybe next time I'm rolling through and I get a flat tire, I just bug him directly and give him a text. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now leaving uh, leaving Big Al's right now. Uh, there's a nice lady inside that also uh, sells jerky on here um, from their homemade beef jerky. So of course I had to support support local. We got the bus going. I'm so excited, and I can't believe it was just the cold. Well, I can't believe it was just the cold weather, but uh, I'm glad it was that simple. It had things making me nervous, you know, I'm trying to get back in one piece. So uh, shout out to uh, Corey again. He's right there, super rad guy. I forgot to mention. <laughs> So Good Sam's, when they called the tow truck company, they said, oh, it's a gigantic school bus, it's a diesel pusher, which is like a tour bus with the uh, engine in the back. Oh, it's this massive, full-size bus. So that's why we got the, um, <laughs> the gigantic semi-truck, the half-million-dollar semi-truck tow truck. <laughs> so Good Sam's, I mean, thanks for coming out, but... Um, you know, you guys got little issues. <laughs> By the way, beef jerky's good.